So I welcome you to the lecture series on digital image processing and you know from the last lecture we are discussing about color image processing. We have discussed some technical terms that is uh, related to our color image processing and out of them I have found that radiance, luminance and brightness are important for you. So before starting the today's lecture I want to ask you a question that what do you understand by chrominance? Second question is that what do you understand by luminance and radiance? Okay, so do answer these questions. I'm repeating again that what do you understand by radiance and what do you understand uh, by luminance and about the about the Prominence is concerned. I just want to uh, ask you a very straightforward question that what is achromatic? Okay, what is achromatic? So starting today's lecture that is being re resumed from the last lecture that we have seen that different wavelengths are concerned with respect to different uh, colors and out of them blue, green, red are very important. You have seen that 445 nm, 535 nm and 575 nm. So, and we have also seen that cones are the sensors in the eye that is responsible for color visions. And six to seven million cones in the human eyes can be divided into three principal categories. That is red, green, and blue. So red, green, and blue are the principal categories of cones. Okay, these are responsible for our color visions. Now, Approximately 65% of the, all the cones are sensitive to red light and 33% are sensitive to green light and only about 2% are sensitive to blue. But the blue cones are the most sensitive. So you have seen that 65% are sensitive to red light, 33% sensitive to green light but only two percent sensitive to blue all the blue cones are the most sensitive ones and as per the international commission on lumination is concerned so that is cie we have wavelengths of blue as 435.1 nm green as 546.1 nm and rain as red as 700 nm you have seen it from the figure okay so that's about the three different important cones that is red green and blue now <clears throat> look at this figure first one is the mixer of light this is green this is red and blue when i'm combining green green and red i have got yellow then you see white and you see cyan as a combination of green and blue Magenta is a combination of red and blue and white is a combination of all of them. That is red, green, blue. Isn't it? Similarly, you will see that yellow, red, green, black, magenta, blue, cyan. So try to analyze this Venn diagram, the second one. First one I have already illustrated. Second one means say red as a combination of the other colors. Black is a combination of the other colors. Okay. So, just throw you a question that how you analyze black means what are the other, other colors combining with you, who is, you will get black color. Okay. <coughs> now, as you see that, that's why we have primary and secondary color. Primary colors are the important ones and combining which will get the different secondary colors. Now, to distinguish one color from another we have brightness, hue, and saturation. I am repeating again that to distinguish one color from another, we have brightness, hue, and saturation. Brightness already, I told you that it embodies the achromatic notions of intensity. At the beginning, at the beginning of the class, I asked you what do you mean by achromatic? Okay. As per the chromatic point of view, what is that chrominance? Okay, then hue. Hue is an attribute associated with the dominant wavelength in a mixer of light waves. So hue is an 
attribute associated with the dominant wavelength in a mixer of light waves. So hue represents what? Hue represents dominant colors as perceived by an observer. Thus, when we call an object red, orange, or yellow, we are referring to its actually hue. You see, suppose I have said that that ball is red. Okay, so this means I'm actually talking about its hue. Okay, that is very important. So then saturation, saturation refers to the relative purity or the amount of white light mixed with a hue. Okay, so actually saturation gives us the purity index that how much amount of white light is mixed with a hue. The pure spectrum colors are fully saturated. Do note that the pure spectrum colors are fully saturated and colors such as pink and lavender are less saturated and with a degree of saturation being inversely proportional to the amount of white light added. I'm repeating it again that note down please, the degree of saturation being inversely proportional to the amount of white light added. So I hope this is sufficient for today's lecture as I have discussed three important technical terms I think that is very important for you. They are brightness, hue and saturation. Uh, as I, I ask you one question about the chromaticity that is chrominance. Okay, so I just want to tell you that hue and saturation taken together will be known as chromaticity. So if we have taken hue and saturation together, then that will be known as chromaticity. Okay, so therefore a color may be characterized by its brightness and what other two? That is hue and saturation and together we know them as chromaticity. The amounts of red, green and blue needed to form any particular color are called what? Street stimulus values and they are denoted by X, Y, and Z respectively. Okay, so these three stimulus values are the amounts of red, amounts of green, and amounts of blue we will need to form other colors. And we have the formulas as capital <coughs> X, Y, Z to denote them. Okay. So x is equal to capital X by x plus y plus z, y is equal to y by x plus y plus z, and z is equal to z divided by x plus y plus z. And this x plus y plus z, obviously, when we all add all of them, we'll get what? 1. Three stimulus values is very important to you. And you know this amount of red, amount of green, and amount of blue, they are being represented by X, capital X, capital Y, capital Z. And combining them will get different colors. And you see that through this equation, small x, small y, small z. So coming to this uh, end of the lecture, so I want to ask you last question to you. That is, what do you understand by stimulus values? Okay, and next is that, what is U? So comment your answer. And I'm going to bring some more important technical terms in the next lecture. So we'll meet you in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.